Kenyan Pilau with goat meat. With me here is my colleague, Taru. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm going to show you the ingredients that you need to make a simple brownish uh, pilau. Mm -hmm. So you need um, half a kilo goat meat and here I have two cups of white rice and four onion chopped thinly together some oil and then i have four large spoons of pilau masala and then i have two spoons of uh, garlic and ginger so this is all you need for making this pilau yes nothing else for this specific pilau this is all what i need wow that's very simple Ida. so what is the first point Ida? the first step is to put a hot pot on the stove mm -hmm. and then you add about five uh, light spoons full of oil you already put some oil in it yeah right? i already put some oil in it yeah and the next thing is to wait for the oil to heat up so that's okay. what we are doing now yeah so the next step I showed you my thinly chopped onions. I'm going to add the onions onto the pot. Mm -hmm. So you add the whole lot. And so you have to cook the onions until they golden brown. So we have to keep cooking and turning until it's golden brown. Oh, wow. So I think uh, when it turns golden brown, it will give nice flavor. Yeah, right. It will give nice flavor, and it's going to help the rice to become gold, like to be brownish. Oh, so they bring nice natural color. Yeah, that wow. brings natural color to the rice. That's smart cooking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my garlic and ginger yeah. into the onion mix. Into the onions, they are getting. Uh, Golden brown, but oh, yeah, not the required. Yeah. yeah. So I add my garlic and ginger. And this is roughly about two big tablespoons. Yes. Right? Two big tablespoons. And then you stir. And then you stir it. Okay. Keep stirring. But then I can leave it because we still haven't got the golden brown. That's so what for one before. minute we need to stir. Yeah, one minute stir it. And then leave it to keep. Cooking until it is well golden brown. Yeah, looks nice. I so the onion it. is getting brown now. Yeah. So we have to keep on stirring it. Once we put garlic and ginger, we have to be. Oops. Somebody. Somebody is calling me. Okay. Hello. Hey, listen, how are you? Hi, is that Anastasia? Where are you? Yeah, you think I'm in England, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, no, I am in Sydney. I decided to surprise you. Wow! I'm already here with my parents like last two, three days. But I came, you gave me a dress. I know. And then I came here. I'm just, I'm near you. You know, I just decided to surprise you. Oh my God. So are you saying you're outside my door? I just opened the door. I'm outside. That's what I'm trying to say to you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bye. Looking forward to it. Go on. Hello. Kenyan dish yes, called so it's pilau. Authentic Kenyan pilau. 
So yes, the onion is golden. As yeah. you can see, we still have our guest here. Yeah. The onion is golden. Okay. What we're going to do? We're going to add the meat. Is it, which meat is that? This is goat meat. Goat meat. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's the Kenyan part. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And I'm gonna add some salt. Yeah. And the onion is supposed to be really good brown. Yeah. 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 Very brown. To give it a brown color look. Why? Why is this very important? Because why? Is it the uh, using different flavor? Why so what Ida onion? was telling me is because uh, we need to make an onion very brown to get that natural brown color in pillar. Yeah. The, the next step, I add half a cup of water into the meat. Yeah. And start it. Yeah. And our friend is sitting on a couch waiting <laughs> for this lovely pillar. So then you have to cook the meat until it's all cooked. Yeah. And when the meat is cooked, then we're going to add the rice. But yeah. So how long are we going to cook the meat either? We can cook the meat for up to 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes and then... If, when the meat is cooked, then I'm gonna come and add ri rice. So the meat now is cooked when I look at it. So the next thing is to add a little bit of salt. Yes. To so test. roughly how much you're adding? I'm going to add a little, like about one spoonful of salt. Yeah. Then stir. I think we need to show them the color of the meat because for me it's yeah. looking really nice. Yeah. If Let you can me bring see. the camera close. Yeah. So the meat now wow, and the look onions, at that. they look like this. Wow. They look like this. Brownish. See? Yeah, it's, so it's brown. Yeah. yeah, it looks brown. It is looking brown, yeah. So if you see your meat looking like that, that shows you're going to have very nice pilau. pilau. The next step, I'm going now to add my rice. I washed it earlier. It's nice and clean. Yeah, and uh, it's about two big cups of it. Yeah, two big cups of rice. So we add the rice. Yeah. And then mix it together. Okay. Wow. So after mixing it, what is the next step, Ida? After mixing the rice, the next step. We're gonna add the pilau masala. Oh, yeah, wow. but give it a little bit of time, like maybe two, three minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add some masala. Yeah, we're gonna add pilau masala. If you look closely, you can see the rice. Maybe I can show them. Yes, bring you can the camera. Show them. Yeah, you can I'm gonna bring the camera close so they can see. Show, if you look show closely, me. you can see the rice is changing color. Wow. And this is the color we, we are looking for. This is the color when the rice is cooked, it's gonna look like this. Look, see, it's getting kind of golden brownish. Yeah, the next step is to add my pilau masala, and that is what is going to give it that flavor. So, roughly, how many tablespoons we have this pilau masala here? I have two tablespoons of, of pilau masala. Mix it together. So, guys, it's not teaspoon, it's tablespoon. Yeah. So two big tablespoons of pilau masala. Correct. And that's also brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is also brown. And when you look closely, it's made the rice look a bit more browner. Yeah. Yeah. It is brown. Yeah. It's a dark, yeah, brown, dark brown. So keep mixing. Mm -hmm. And while that is cooking, notice yeah. I haven't added any water into it. While this is cooking, I can get, I can measure some water. Yeah. So in this case, four cups. Four so cups. I'm adding four cups for either here. Yeah. Add four cups of water into the rice. So all in goes. And all goes in. And then you're stirring it and mixing it. And then you're stirring it and you're mixing it. So we're leaving it now for a simmering? Yeah, we're gonna leave it to simmer. How long? Half an hour. Okay. So it's a slow cook process, yeah. right? Or until the rice is cooked. Another way you can check when the rice is cooked. Mm -hmm. But roughly will take like 30 minutes. Okay. So when it is like this, if you want, you can test the consistency of the of the sauce. 
Some, you mean salt and all that. Oh no, the pilau masala. So if you're happy with it, it, then you can add something at this point. Uh, you can add something at this oh, point. Oh wow! But yeah. normally, what I do from here, I mm -hmm. transfer it to the rice cooker. Mm -hmm. And why is that? So that the rice can cook nice and slow. Oh, so perhaps we can transfer this in a rice cooker now. Yes, you can see now I've just transferred my rice into the rice cooker. So just put it there mm -hmm. and then cover it. And we're gonna cook that for how long? Roughly will be like half an hour. So now the rice I've been following and the, it's, it's already cooked. So what I'm gonna do is transfer the rice, take the rice out as you can see. It's still, it's cooked, but it's still a little bit wet. At this stage, what I do, I cover it with a foil. I cover it with a foil. And I pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. So in there, I put temperature at 100, 175, and leave it for 10 minutes. And then when we come back, the rice will be ready to serve. So hi guys, we are back. Our pilau is ready. Our pilau is ready. Ta-da! Looking delicious. See? Yay. Looks very brownish, mm. yeah? Can and our friend is dying to taste it yeah. now. Yeah? My tummy is rumbling. Our friend from the UK, <laughs> Anastasia. She's... She's so we are serving for Anastasia Yeah, she's gonna now. taste it for us. Yeah? So it's live tasting. It's guys. Mm. Live tasting is going on. Oh my god, I've been waiting for a while to test it. Oh, the oh. aroma is delicious. Mm. Mm. What colors did you use? <laughs> She's laughing it. <laughs> it's delicious, honestly. It's a uh, rice is not dry. Mm. It's enough moisture. Mm. <laughs> It's very good, a balance of flavors, it's not you very see hot. You see a little bit of master chef going on yeah, here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm doing it every day. How's the meat? Mm. Okay. It's I haven't good. tested mm. yet. Mm. Mm. Let me try it. The meat. Yeah. It's not. It's Is it flavorful? Mm. I can't talk. <laughs> she can't talk. Mm. <laughs> I think she likes it. The, she like the it. meat mm. is delicious. Mm. It's not very soft, it's mm. not very hard, mm. it's perfect. Mm -hmm. it's good, isn't yeah. It? yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. So I hope you guys enjoyed a lot. I can't talk, I need to eat my food. I'm she's sorry. eating as you can she's see. Eating, yeah. She's eating. Yeah. And she's going with her she's plate. Going with Bye. Bye. <laughs> waiting for too long to have it. Yay. <laughs> so as you can see guys, our pilaf is cooked. I hope you like this video. And um either my friend did very nice job. Yeah. And I hope you like this video. Subscribe. Do follow, hit the like button, and Mahiri, Fubilenge. Bye. We did good job. Yay.